हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड टुडे लेट्स स्टार्ट विद एनर्जी ऑडिट एनर्जी ऑडिट इज अ बी मैकेनिकल लास्ट ईयर फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर इलेक्टिव वन सब्जेक्ट यू कैन ऑप्ट फॉर एनर्जी ऑडिट इट इज अ वेरी फेयर सिंपल थियोरटिकल सब्जेक्ट विच गिव यू अ गुड स्कोर अबाउट सेवेंटी टू सेवेंटी फाइव आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड एंड इट हैज सम न्यूमेरिकल्स देर आर मेनली सिक्स वेराइटीज ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल्स फ्रॉम विच वी आर गोइंग टू सी द फर्स्ट थ्री न्यूमेरिकल्स इन दिस सेशन एंड द रिमेनिंग इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट न्यूमेरिकल इन विच वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट बॉयलर एफिशियंसी द न्यूमेरिकल्स विच आई विल बी टेकिंग इन द कमिंग सेक्शंस आर द ओनली न्यूमेरिकल्स बींग आस्ड फ्रॉम द एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू द अदर न्यूमेरिकल्स आर नेवर आस्ड एंड दे विल नेवर बी आस्ड इन द एग्जामिनेशन डू नॉट वेस्ट टाइम सॉल्विंग दैम नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट सो वी हैव बीन टोल्ड टू फाइंड आउट द बॉयलर एफिशियंसी एज वी नो वॉट इज एफिशियंसी इट इज आउटपुट अपॉन इनपुट नाउ द आउटपुट गिवन इज द स्टीम जनरेटेड इन द बॉयलर and the input will be the coal consumed and the energy of the coal also we have been given the enthalpies of the boiler or the water and gas that is the steam and the water so how to calculate the efficiency output upon input output was 8 ton per hour into difference between the enthalpies that is the energy consumed into 1000 now i took 1000 to convert ton to kilogram because the value of cv and the value of enthalpy is are in kilo calories this is ton per hour so ton to kg is 1000 similarly input is 1.8 ton per hour that is coal consumed into 3200 kilo calories that is cv into 1000 to convert 1.8 into kilogram into 100 will be 80% so this is the efficiency of the boiler this question will be asked for 6 marks at least 6 marks in the examination and it is pretty simple you see so let's see the next numerical in this particular numerical we are supposed to calculate npv that is net present value of a particular system or particular object which you bought we have been given a discount of 10% our investment was 400 rupees and we got 1000 profit or 1000 rupees work done by the particular object or instrument we bought we have to calculate net present value now the net present value has a definite formula of cf0 upon 1 plus k raised to 0 plus cf1 1 plus k raised to 1 plus cf2 raised to 1 plus k raised to 2 and so on up till n we have three terms that is investment and two years therefore we take two if we were giving given n number of years we would consider n number of years and n would go on increasing 1 2 3 and cf1 cf2 cf3 will be increasing as per the given data now the first term that is cf0 upon 1 plus k raised to 0 is the investment and these two are the returns from the particular investment or the continuing will be the in returns so the first term is minus 400 divided by 1 plus 0.1 because 10% we cannot take directly we have to divide it by 100 so 1 plus 0.1 raised to 0 that is the initial investment in the first month or the at the time of installation next was 1000 upon 1 plus 0 raised to 1 plus 1000 raised to 1 plus 0.1 square so 1 was the first year 2 was second year similarly you can calculate it for 3 4 5 6 up to 100 n numbers now calculating term one by one dividing and calculating we get three terms that is minus 400 plus 909 plus 826 so you can calculate the net present value is 1335.54 of the particular object this is a this is a smaller version of a larger numerical in which you can also be asked to calculate in in a initial rate of return that is irr or internal rate of return what you call it So this is the half numerical which may be asked for four marks or five marks at the max and five marks theory may be asked. Let's see the next numerical how to find out internal rate of return. Now in this particular numerical you have to find out the internal rate of return that is at what rate your investment will break even and start making profit. So what was given investment was given as two lakh twenty thousand annual saving was given five percent and life was given. 15 years you have to calculate internal rate of return now saving was on the investment so we first calculate savings that is 5 divided by 100 into 2 lakh 20000 
which will be 115000 that is savings now the formula for irr is s is equal to 1 plus i raised to n into i that this we have to find out i so 1 plus i minus 1 i forgot to write n this will be investment and we have to find out okay let's consider it as capital i and let's consider it as small i will be the internal rate of return now we have investment that is 220000 we have savings 115000 we have the term that is 15 years we have to find out i pretty simple putting all the values in the following equation you can easily calculate i multiplying it by 100 you can calculate into percentage that is 52.18% so these are the three types of numerical the initial three simple numerical for energy audit they are present in the rear end of the or the last pages of your book i prefer using take easy publication which is really good for theory as well as the numerical and i'll continue the the remaining numericals in the next session please stay tuned and keep subscribing i hope to see you in my next video